Hello, welcome to another edition of 5-Minute FRQ, where I take you through an old FRQ on the AP Bio exam in 5 minutes or less. As always, this information is freely available on the College Board's AP website, so if you have any questions, you can look it up there. Alright, this is question 6 on the 2017 AP exam. A comet assay is a technique used to determine the amount of double-strand breaks in DNA, or DNA damage, in cells. The nucleus of an individual cell is placed on a microscope slide coated with an agarose gel. An electric current is applied to the gel that causes DNA to move, or electrophoresis, and the DNA is stained with a fluorescent dye. When viewed using a microscope, undamaged DNA from the nucleus appears as a round shape, which is called the head, and fragments of damaged DNA extend out from the head, which is called the tail. The length of the tail corresponds to the amount of damage in the DNA, see figure one. So before we even look at the question, so this is basically a version of gel electrophoresis. Um, if you look at the top, you can see that I have a cell with DNA damage, and I have it on an electrophoresis gel. Current's going through it, and the, the DNA is migrating toward the positive end, because as you hopefully know, DNA has a negative charge. So let's look at the questions. Part A, to explain the movement of DNA fragments in the comet assay, identify one property of DNA, and provide reasoning to support how the property contributes to the movement during the comet assay technique. Um, so really quick, so the common assay is not something usually you do in AP Bio, but you do usually do gel electrophoresis. And you know the DNA moves down the gel for two reasons. One, like I just said, DNA has a negative charge because of the phosphate groups, so it moves toward the positive end. That's one thing you could say. You could also say that um, the, the distance the DNA travels is proportional to the size. Smaller fragments go further because they get through the gel faster. So if you look at part A, if you look at the rubric, the two things that they took, you get a point for an ID and a point for reasoning. So either DNA has a negative charge, which means it goes toward the positive side, that's two points right there. Or the DNA can be different sizes, and the different size fragments move at different rates. You don't have to say that smaller ones move faster, but that is true, smaller ones move faster. All right, part B. In a different experiment, cells are treated with a chemical mutagen that causes only nucleotide substitutions in DNA. Predict the likely results of a comet assay for this treatment. So the question tells you that um, the DNA forms a head and that the DNA breaks form the tail. So if you have a chemical that only causes substitutions, that's not breaking the DNA. So there shouldn't be a tail. You should only have a head. And if you look at what they took, they took the prediction either that you'd have a, a head only or a head with no tail. They also accepted that you would have a shorter tail. Um, if you have no breaks, really, you'd have no tail at all. But they did accept that you would have a tail that would be shorter than a tail of DNA that had double-stranded breaks. Okay, hope that was helpful, and I will see you guys next time.